हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट द फोर्स पी अप्लाइड एट जॉइंट डी ऑफ द स्क्वायर फ्रेम कॉजेज द फ्रेम टू स्वे एंड फॉर्म द डेश रोमबस डिटर्मिन द एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेन डिवेलप इन ए सी एंड डिवेलप डिटर्मिन द एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेन डिवेलप इन ए ई सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेन डिवेलप इन ए सी एंड ए ई एज्यूम दैट द थ्री रॉड्स आर रिजिड्स द थ्री रॉड्स आर रिजिड्स देर आर नो चेंज इन द लेंथ ऑफ दीज रॉड्स सो द लेंथ रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस इज द डाइग्राम गिवन एंड आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस एग्जेजरेटेड फ्री बॉडी डाइग्राम राइट सो आई हैव द पोजिशन ऑफ पॉइंट डी ई एंड सी आर रेप्रजेंटेड बाई डी डेश ई डेश एंड सी डेश so as this frame will will sway so then this d point will move to d dash e will move to e dash and there will be the elongation in the length of ae and ac wires so since there is elongation in in ae and ac wires we are asked to find the average normal strain developed in both of these uh wires so if we can find that we can say that this average normal strain in ac wire will be equal to the final length which is ac dash minus the initial length or we can say that the original length divided by the original length so ac dash this ac dash minus ac divided by this ac length so we can find ac length we can find the initial length before the application of the force we can find ac by using this abc triangle and we are having 90 degree angle here so we can use the pythagoras theorem to find ac length so we can say that ac is equal to this length square so this length square is basically 200 plus 200 this is 400 the distance between point d and c is 400 so 400 and bc this ad and this bc both of these uh, rods are 400 mm as well so 400 square plus 400 square so we can say 400 square plus 400 square this will give us the initial length of wire ac so we can say 400 square plus 400 square so this is equal to we can say 565.685 mm and now we have to find ac dash as well so for ac dash we have to consider abc dash triangle and now this triangle is no more right angle triangle here is some other angle and we can find this angle we can find this ac dash by applying the law of cosines if we know the angle between this edge and the angle between this so if we find the angle between ab and bc dash then we can apply the cosines law so this angle is 93 degrees since the problem says that here the sway angle is 3 degrees so we will have that same angle here as well so this angle is 3 degrees and this angle is 3 degrees so we can say that if this angle is 90 degree then this angle is 93 so we can say that this angle is 93 and since the rods are rigid so this length is 400 and since bc rod is 400 so this bc dash is 400 as well so we can say that this is 400 mm and this is 400 mm as well so we can say that ac dash length will be applying the cosines law we can say that this will be 400 square plus 400 square minus 2 into 400 multiplied by 400 cos of the angle which is 93 degrees and under the square root so we can say that 400 square plus 400 square Minus two times four hundred into four hundred cos of ninety three degrees. So this gives us AC dash equals to five hundred and eighty point two nine nine millimeter. 
So now we know AC, AC dash plugging both of these values in this equation will give us the average normal strain in wire AC. So we can say that AC dash is 580.299 minus AC which is 565.685 divided by AC 565.685. This will give us the average normal strain in wire AC. So 580.299 minus 565.685 divided by 565.685 this gives us the average normal strain in wire AC equals to 0 0.0258 millimeter per millimeter similarly we are asked we, we are again in the second problem we are asked to find uh, the average normal strain in wire AE so now in wire AE, we can say that in wire AE using the same formula that will be AE dash minus AE divided by AE. So now we have to find AE and AE dash. So for AE, again as you guys can see that this angle is 3 degrees and for AE, we can use this right angle triangle and this is right angle triangle. And we know that AD length, this is 400 and DE, the distance between point D and E is 200. So this is 200. So to find AE, we can say that AE will be equal to this 400, this 400 square plus 200 square by using the Pythagoras theorem. So 400 square plus 200 square this will give us AE. This is equal to 447.214 millimeter. And similarly, to find AE dash, we must use this triangle. To find AE dash, we can use this triangle AD dash E dash this triangle by using the law of cosines. So now we know the distance between D dash and E dash since um, all the rods are rigid. So the distance between D A and E is 200. So the distance between D dash E dash is also 200 mm. And this length is also 400. And if, if we draw a vertical line here, then this angle is 3 degrees and this angle is 3 degrees. This is 90. So if this is 90 and this is 3 degrees, then this angle is 93 degrees as well. So we can say that this angle is 93 degrees as well. So to find a E dash, we know that we know this length, which is 200. We know this length, which is 400. And we know the included angle between both of these sides. So we can apply the law of cosines for finding a E dash. So we can say that let me write that AE dash will be equal to 400 square which is AD dash plus D dash E which is 200 minus 2 into 400 into 200 cause of 93 degrees. So 400 square plus 200 square minus 2 times 400 multiplied by 200 cos of 93. So this gives me 456.480 approximately. This is in millimeters. So now putting both of these values in this equation. So we know AE dash which is 456.480 minus AE which is 447.214 divided by AE 447.214 so this gives us the average normal strain in wire AE is 0 0.0207 millimeter per millimeter so this is the solution of this particular problem this is the average normal strain in wire AC and this is the average normal strain in wire AE so I hope all this discussion will help you in solving such problem related to the average normal strain.
Do subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.